In this brand new LumaFusion tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place one graphic over an entire video using a neat trick. The first thing you'll want to do is add a main title to an empty project, then go into the clip editor for that main title, delete the text, and add a shape. I'm not going to walk you through step by step how I created this graphic. All I need to say at this point is that in order to save this properly and use it, you'll need to create all of your elements in the same title layer because I'm going to save this as a preset title and when you do that, if you have multiple layers in one project, only one layer will be saved. Since I want both the shape and the text to appear together, I'm going to save each of those elements in one video layer. Once I'm done designing my graphic and building it, I'll tap on the star. This will allow me to save it as a preset title. I'll tap on the star and then type a name. In this case, video chapter title. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. All of your preset titles are saved at the top of the titles section. Now I'll back out of the clip editor. Here's the graphic I just created, so I'll switch to another project where I'm going to replace the graphic that's there. I'll long press on that graphic that I just created and place it over top of this clip until I see the gold box. When this dialog box appears, I'll choose the first option, replace clip, but keep timeline duration so that this clip is placed throughout the entire tutorial section of this video. Then I can double tap on my new clip to open the clip editor and make some minor changes. First, I'll resize the entire graphic in the size and position area. Then, I need to resize the text portion so that it fits inside the oval. You might need to change this each time you use your graphic depending on what you type. Now the graphic looks great. I'll back out of the clip editor and quickly scrub through the entire video so you can see that this new graphic will appear throughout this entire video. This particular Video Leap tutorial requires that you have a pro level subscription to Video Leap to use the defocus effect. That's why I need to add this label to the video so the viewer knows this before they begin watching. What happens if you want to have chapter titles in a video where you've got multiple things going on, like in this clip here? I'm going to scrub backwards to the end of the tutorial section and I'll make a cut. Next I'll tap the duplicate icon to make a copy of the tutorial section. Now I'll simply use the replace clip method to place my graphic over top of the entire tutorial section. Make sure to select the first option which is to keep the timeline duration so that whatever graphic you're using appears properly. Next I'll open the clip editor, tap on frame and fit, and then resize the entire graphic and place it on the screen so that if I click on the title section, the graphic returns to normal and covers the entire screen. But when I add my text and go back to the main timeline, the graphic will be positioned properly. Here I'm going to add the first chapter title, which is changed text color. Now I'm going to play the clip until I get to the section where I talk about changing the background color. All I have to do once I get to that point is make a cut to create two separate graphic titles by selecting the clip on top, so I'll tap on white once more, and go back to the text option. If I go back to the make sure the clip on top is selected, and make a cut. Now I'll double tap on the clip to the right, and change the title. I'll place the cursor in front of the word text, delete it, and add background. Then I'll tap on done.
And notice that I have to adjust the text size. You might have to do this each time you change your title. Just make sure your text fits inside your graphic. So we'll go back to the title screen so that it fits inside the oval. And then I'll back out of the clip editor and the graphic looks proper. Now if I scrub back a little bit and play the clip, you'll notice that it will change from one chapter title to the other. Here's the first, go back to the main timeline and tap on canvas and then background, you'll notice. And then here's the second one, background. Just tap on color and select one of these. This chapter title graphic will appear for the entire length of the tutorial. So as a viewer, you will know that I'm demonstrating all the background colors available inside the Video Leap app. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do animated chapter titles that don't stay on the screen the entire time, leave a comment below and I'll make the video. For more great LumaFusion tutorials, check out the links in the description or this recommended playlist.